I think it was no surprise that hacking has been an issue for Call of Duty and just Warzone for a while now, but it's not just PC that has hacks anymore. For those who don't know, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and the Xbox Series X can now all have cheats put onto those devices via USB. Have no idea how it works or how these hacks and mods are implemented and how they're usable on these console games, but now it's not just PC that has access to hacks. Now consoles now have aimbot hacks and aim assist hacks, and it's more than just Cronus Zen, it's full on lock on, and it's just kind of sad honestly because every time that call of duty and warzone seems like it's getting the hacks under control even though it still doesn't have an anti-cheat which is a huge issue it just gets worse and at first the latest and greatest hack was wall hacks and aimbot and then it got really intense and you could bend bullets and there was like magnetized bullets so even if you were shooting and bullets were missing the enemy the bullets would like magnetize towards the enemy and now consoles have full access to it and there was a lot of consoles players that wouldn't play cross-platform and they would only play against people on the, their own console because that's how you could avoid the hackers on PC except now that there is console hacks there's no point whatsoever to not play cross-platform and it sucks because war zones are free to play game and no matter how many times accounts get banned they could always make new ones and not only are there just hacks to exploit the game there's also unlock all hacks so you can use any bundle in the store and you don't have to pay for these bundles which means that activision now should be taking action because that means that people don't have to buy bundles anymore in the store there's just unlock tools that you can download or have someone apply to your account on PC or however they do it. And you have all mastery camos unlocked, all bundles unlocked. You don't have to pay for a single thing in the game. So hopefully the fact that that's a thing is going to force Activision to implement anti-cheat and find ways to solve these issues because they're going to start losing a lot of money, which Activision being Activision, they're not going to want that. And there's like small little cool hacks too. Like you guys might have seen some videos on YouTube where people have Damascus on Cold War weapons or people have DM Ultra on Modern Warfare 2019 weapons, which I think should just be a thing in the game in general. You should be able to somehow unlock Damascus and DM Ultra for opposing game weapons. Jeb's talked about it in his video the other day talking about hacking and it would just be cool to have that cross kind of progression platform camo progression could you imagine if you could do the mastery camo grind for damascus and then do the same damascus challenges on the cold war weapons at the same time doing dm ultra camo challenges for modern warfare weapons i think that'd be cool and i don't think it would ever happen just because different games and different i guess engines but it would be cool to see happen because there's a lot of people that have mod tools now where you can see people with damascus on like the c58 from cold war and there's a lot of people sharing their opinions on how call of duty and hacks are and this one's from courage jd on twitter and he says it's been 487 days since warzone released cheating is worse than ever and there is no anti-cheat in sight and he says what a shame and i completely agree the fact that there's no anti-cheat whatsoever this far in a game's life cycle says a lot about just activision's priorities and there's been tons of conspiracy theories thrown around out there where they get more money somehow by having hackers and these people in the game cheating. And there's also people that are saying, well, to implement an anti-cheat when there wasn't before is extremely hard to do and it's hard to engineer, but you could do it because Activision is a multi-billion dollar company. Regardless, we will never know if there will be an anti-cheat ever introduced into the game. And the best Activision does is these huge ban waves. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing that they're banning like 65,000 players per ban wave. But the thing is, is a lot of those players are just going to make new accounts. And unfortunately, it's super easy. And there's ways to get around hardware bans too. So when PCs and people's IP addresses get banned entirely from playing the game, it's super easy to VPN around that or just buy programs that can change your hardware's code so when the game detects your motherboard it doesn't detect a motherboard that's been previously banned so you can basically make these hacked and modded accounts infinitely and there's a lot of just dumb hacks and it ruins the game right because why would you play a game when you die every time to a hacker you could have the game of your life and die to a hacker and the thing is is the hacks are so good now within Modern Warfare Warzone and even Cold War. I mean, I haven't seen a hacker in Cold War in 
a long time since like the game launch so maybe there's an anti-cheat in cold war i don't know but the hacks in modern warfare and warzone you can tweak them so it doesn't even look like you're hacking it just makes you look like you have really good aim or really good reaction time and you can pretty much make it to the point where you'll never be detected by just people spectating you and you'll just seem like a really good player which is why it's hard to play warzone now and just modern warfare in general because when you die in a slightly suspicious way you have no clue if they're actually cheating or playing legit and they're just good at the game and it's ruining the experience overall and a lot of people are saying that warzone almost every time they're playing the game they're dying to hackers and people cheating in the game now i know if you guys watch phase jeff's videos and you watch him do his spectating videos there's always hackers in their game now and if you go to any streamer that's streaming warzone they're always dying to hackers big or small streamers are and of course bigger streamers are going to get stream sniped by the hackers but even the smaller streamers who maybe are getting like five six viewers concurrently they're even getting killed by hackers in almost every game and it just seems like there's so much of this going on in the game right now that it's ruining warzone and just modern warfare overall and it sucks because without hackers in the game these games could be so much fun but there's no point in playing them since there's a lot of hackers going around right now and it doesn't even matter about sbmm because you think that sbmm would force these hackers that are getting like 30 kills a game to play against better players but since they're new accounts they don't have sbmm profiles set up so you're finding hackers in the best of the best lobbies and the worst of the worst player lobbies so it just sucks to see and honestly i hope activision learns from this i hope just raven infinity ward treyarch they all learn from this and in future games they have anti-cheat implemented and i've seen tons of tweets like uh arc survival evolved has anti-cheat and all these super small niche games that make fractions of what activision do have anti-cheats implemented in the game and look at fall guys fall guys is a great example the first two weeks there was like no hacking whatsoever and then all of a sudden there was hackers everywhere and then within days whatever development studio makes fall guys they had an anti-cheat implemented into their game where there originally wasn't one at launch and that just goes to show how fast you could actually implement an anti-cheat so i think the people saying that it takes a lot of time and money to implement an anti-cheat are kind of full of it at some times because look how fast games like fall guys have implemented it and of course completely different game mechanics completely different engine and the games are probably universes apart in how these actually games are coded and it's probably not super similar to one another so i understand that it could take a little bit more time and be slightly more difficult for warzone but it's been more than a year now and hacking has been an issue since pretty much the start of the game and yeah so hopefully they fix it soon let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below have you guys come into any hackers within cold war or modern warfare or warzone how frequently do you guys come across hackers and what are you guys doing to remedy the hackers are you just not playing call of duty in general and just playing older call of duties or are you playing just non call of duty titled games leave a like if you guys did enjoy dislike if you didn't that's my feelings and thoughts on hacking right now of course that's really stupid it ruins the experience for me and i hope they do something about it soon but realistically i don't believe that they're going to be doing anything to fix this anytime soon so yeah subscribe for more videos in the future leave a like if you guys did enjoy dislike if you didn't there's no hard feelings i'm about to head out and if there is one i'll see you guys in the next one peace